calendar time. We are two months away from the third anniversary of the opening of the affordable health care exchanges as part of Obamacare. And while many of the major health insurers are projecting losses on their Affordable Care Act plans in 2016, we wanted to show you their stock performances over the last three years since the exchanges came into play. Aetna up 151%, United Health up 100%, Humana up 82%. So these stocks have done pretty darn well. Now, yesterday at a campaign event in Ohio, Donald Trump said Obamacare could affect the outcome of this election. The numbers are so bad on Obamacare, so bad, that on November 1st, they're going to be announced. Those numbers are presidential election changing numbers. Are they bad for the companies? Are they bad for the patients? Is Trump right? Could these numbers be a game changer? Let's bring in Chairman and CEO of Aetna, Mark Bertolini. Great to see you, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Liz. You, uh, I believe, currently sell Obamacare plans in about 15 states. You're losing money. What's the most problematic aspect for you about it? Well, two things, really, Liz. One is that um, people have figured out, not the patients themselves, but um, other third parties have figured out how to get people eligible for the exchanges, get them enrolled to cover very expensive drugs and procedures. Now, these people need these procedures and they need these drugs and they need to be covered. But when you couple that with a risk adjustment mechanism for high risk people that really is limited by virtue of the legislation, it causes everyone in the system to lose money. Have you seen any bending of the cost curve? No, we have not, actually. We've seen it accelerate by double digits, low double digits, so year over year in this last year, which is an alarming rate from where it was a year ago, which was less than half of that. Um, and in the pharmacy space, particularly specialty pharmacy, we've seen increases of trend of over 30%. But what's your better offer, Mark? Uh, you know, let me just throw this out as a hypothetical. Well, it's not a hypothetical. I actually know people like this. They're, they're middle income parents. I know a few lower income parents whose kids are mm -hmm. very ill and they say, but for Obamacare, we'd be bankrupt and we wouldn't be getting the care. What is the better offer that you would have as a publicly traded company? No, the offer should be that we cover them. What we need to do is create a risk adjusting mechanism that allows us to pay for it. Um, and that's, and, and so we're paying for it. And, we're, and if you look at, there are 23 co-ops, there's only seven left, six of which are under review. Um, nobody's making enough money to sustain the enterprise. And what we have to do is we have to find a way to create a risk adjusting mechanism to manage that. And if it's a high risk pool, let's call it a high risk pool and manage it that way. Uh, but we've tried to create a level pool across the whole country with one premium rate and that just won't work. You know, um, Hillary Clinton is, supports Obamacare. Donald Trump has said in the early part of his campaign, we can't just let people get sick and, and fall over on the sidewalk here. We've got to take care of people. Uh, is, is one candidate or the other better for how you see the health care puzzle fitting together? Well, I don't think anybody's looking at the real underlying causes. And so I think we can make these exchanges work. If we get away from the legislation that was originally passed, modify it to include risk adjustment that allows us to cover more sick people, which is what we want to do, which is what we do, by the way, in Medicare. And if we can get that structure proper, then we'll be just fine. Have, have we'll you be able talked to, take to care the president everybody. about this? Have you approached President Obama and said, make this tweak and it'll work? I have approached the secretary and I have approached the administration and? about it. They, they're working hard to do it, but it requires, Liz, it requires legislation to change it. And you tell me what the chances are of legislation getting passed in this current administration. That is part of the problem, isn't it? As a business leader, I'm sure problem. you are so frustrated. Right. If we could get the legislation, it could work. And so we look forward to the next administration, whoever that may be, in making that happen. Well, uh, you know, you get, you get the requests of either presidential candidate. If you had them in front of you, what is the number one thing that you would say to them? Let's take care of the people who are in the pool. Let's recognize what their cost is. Let's build the financing around it to do it. If we want to get younger people in the pool, let's create a separate set of products for them because they don't need the kind of intensity that the current people do. Let's admit who we're covering, make the financing work, and it'll all come together.
It's great to see you, Mark. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good to see you, Liz. Mark yep. Bertolini is Aetna, Aetna Chairman and CEO. The stock is moving higher today.